So first of all, uh, excuse me if there's any background noise. I am outside in my backyard filming this. Uh, I thought it was appropriate to film outside, but you know, neighbors, ambulances, whatever. So uh, this is the time of year when we all want to be outside. And a lot of us are getting all of our plants ready for the summer. And right now it's kind of a little bit more difficult because a lot of garden centers aren't open uh, so this is an order I made online a couple weeks ago and finally was able to pick it up and I want to share all my plans for all my plants so first I wanted to talk about what I'm doing for our backyard uh, I wanted to add a lot more flowers and greenery to the backyard but it's a bit of a shadier spot so that's a bit of a challenge but there is um, I've got here the ex some examples of shade or part shade plants that can add a lot of interest and drama to a shadier part of your lawn so <clears throat> we'll start with the greens I got um, a bunch of these Japanese tassel ferns which are stunning they have this beautiful um, green foliage and kind of hairy uh, stems and they'll get big and beautiful in my shady backyard and uh, yes sorry for the interruption this is life especially when you have a partner who loves to chat as much as mine does and likes to check in on me and see me and um, I guess it's uh, not a bad thing <laughs> so aside from the tassel fern I also got um, beautiful coleus it's the Stained Glassworks Velvet Coleus, and these are such uh, fast growers and very vigorous. They get really big really quickly, and they do well without a lot of light. So these were two kind of, this is a way to really add a lot of drama and color without flowers. So uh, those are two great options as far as just pure greenery. And then I really wanted to have um, an orange kind of coral theme kind of with greens and whites that's I thought that would be really really pretty so I have here two um, begonias and I got two different varieties and two different colors so the first one here is the tuberose begonia non-stop deep salmon and it is it's this beautiful deep salmon color on these beautiful I'll do close-ups of all the the flowers and uh, plants as well um, begonia with these full blooms and then the other one is um, more of a trailing uh, begonia this is the tuberose begonia illumination apricot so it is a trailing plant um, and you can see this one is a little shorter stubbier and this one the the blooms kind of droop down a, a bit but they are this beautiful peachy uh, orange color and yeah so that was kind of the color scheme that I'm going for in the back I do want to add some white flowers to the back landscape as well but um, I didn't get any low light white flowers in this order but I'm not mad about having to buy more plants in the future it gives me something to look forward to <laughs> So then for the front, we get uh, a lot of hot sun most of the day. I would say until about maybe noon or one, we get a lot of sun. So we've got to obviously go for full sun plants and I'm sticking to the same color scheme, sort of white and peachy, pinky, orangey colors. So we've got, um, which this is my first time growing this plant and it's just so beautiful and it looks like a very delicate kind of wildflower and it's the stratosphere white and um, it is a full sun plant and I think it'll really go it'll go really well with the, our cedars and boxwoods and the sort of more uh, woodsy atmosphere that we have going on in the front and adds that vertical interest as well and then uh, this is something that I've grown uh, quite a bit of and it's a really uh, hardy grower as well, quite vigorous, great, great for ground cover and that's, this is um, Easter Bonnet White Alyssum. So we've got, there's the white interest and then for our 
basically all of the above for the colors, the peachy, the coral, the, the, the orange, um, I got lantanas, which we've grown these a lot. They're great full sun. They bloom all summer long. And um, uh, the, the, these ones don't have any blooms yet. They're, um, I'll show the tag and you can see what it looks like. So lastly, the last plant that I got in this haul, by the way, this is all from Belgian Nursery. Um, they're doing online ordering uh, for pickup um, and they have a good selection. All of the nurseries around here are really, really great. Uh, they just had some of the things that I was particularly looking for, so that's why I went with them. But the last thing that we have here is a honeysuckle. Now, this one is, again, in that sort of corally, orangey, yellow kind of family that I was going for. And um, this one will hopefully get really big, and I have some trellises that I want to grow it up. And cover uh, so that's where this is gonna go um, yeah so that's this plant haul please let me know if you are interested in this and seeing more of what kind of plants I'm growing in my garden we have a vegetable garden we have several flower beds and this is basically all I'm doing with my free time in this COVID world so uh, let me know if you want to see more of it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I don't know, follow me, subscribe, come tell me what you're doing with all of your time. Um, and I hope you're keeping cool in this hot, hot heat wave.